All right, I am here with Dr. Sheely, interviewing him. Dr. Sheely is a neurosurgeon. Now, the $100 million question, which is what 75% of my patients that come into my clinic, they mark off that they have anxiety. Everybody has anxiety. I had anxiety, I don't know if you remember, a couple years ago, I came, a year ago or two years ago, I came here and I had anxiety and you gave me a protocol that worked great. Tell me, what do we do for anxiety? Well, anxiety is fear. And there are only a few things that cause us to be fearful or afraid. Danger, in other words, that somebody is threatening you or something is threatening you, that's one. Some people fear injury or invalidism, some kind of damage to the body. Some people, but the most common is a feeling of abandonment or loss of love. And that starts early in childhood in many people. Something happened in the first seven to 10 years of life and they've all their life been afraid of being kicked out, abandoned, not loved adequately. And then of course, the next big one is justice and freedom and God. Why did God allow this to happen to me? Well, to me, the reaction to that is anxiety and it can go on to other things too, but the most important thing is to assess the situation. Is there something I can do about it? If so, and I've got the energy to do it, great, fight back, fight fiercely, Harvard. But if there's nothing you can do, then you need to detach. My favorite word in the entire language is detach from those things you cannot change. Be at peace. Now, I can't change government. I'm not willing to spend, waste my life trying to change government. Therefore, I'm not gonna allow it to bother me. I can't change many things in the society of the world that are unpleasant and not, don't seem right to me, and it could be different things for different people, but basically the most important thing is to learn to detach, and that you do through deep relaxation with something like autogenic training. My arms and legs are heavy and warm, and just getting out of it. Who cares? So what? So what do people do? Like, like when I came here and I had, I had anxiety. You gave me a device and a couple supplements. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, okay. The chemical antidote to stress is serotonin. Right. Serotonin is what I call the bright-eyed, bushy-tailed wake-up hormone, and anxiety, of course, keeps you from producing that. If you are deficient in tryptophan, an essential amino acid, giving someone anywhere from 3,000 to 7,000 milligrams a day of tryptophan, plus some B-complex, 25 milligrams of all the basic Bs, plus a little bit of lithium orotate, 15 to 20 milligrams, can do it chemically without even having to do anything mental. And then, and then you also gave me a stimulator. Yes, and that would be the, what was originally the LISS, L-I-S-S, cranial stimulator. I discovered it in 1975. You put it either in your temple or front to back in the head, and it takes 40 minutes. You need to do it in the morning, but it will raise your serotonin. And in a normal, healthy person, when you wake up, whether it's six o'clock or eight o'clock in the morning, your serotonin level comes up to high, it stays there until about four o'clock in the afternoon. And then it begins slowly to come down until nine or 10 o'clock when it reaches its lowest peak and it turns into melatonin, which helps you sleep well. So restoring that normal rhythm of serotonin, melatonin can help, but using the list stimulator for 45 to 60 minutes in the morning can markedly reduce anxiety and depression and help you sleep better. So, so it was, it was Lithoro, to recap, Lithoro, it was, what else, tell us the other supplements? Dr. Shea's Essentials, which Dr. is 25 milligrams of B-complex. B-complex, and taurine? You said the something? amino acid taurine. Now, for people who are highly anxious, then you, again, you use taurine. Taurine works synergistically with magnesium in the body to calm the nervous system. Okay. That's the normal situation. 
In Lithoro, you told me brings the cell, you're a neurosurgeon, so so the cell fire, you tell me the cell fires at negative 70 milliamps, right? Yes. So tell me about and that. Every cell in your body to keep from firing has a negative minus 70 millivolt charge on it. When it gets excited, if you will, it might go down to minus 50, and that makes the cell hyper excitable. So the lithium orotate help to bring back down the minus 70 millivolt charge. So it's more of, you're more, you can't get that that high, right? You can't get really up to an eight out of 10 or something, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, and then the Liss cranial stimulator, is that still called Liss cranial stimulator? No, when Dr. Uh, Liss died about eight or 10 years ago, it was sold to a company called Fisher Wallace. Mm -hmm. Still available, the output is still correct, but they have one great error. They tell people to put it on 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening, which is terrible. You, you, you need to use a minimum 40 minutes in the morning. So you have to turn it on at least twice or three times in order to get your, your adequate stimulation in the morning. You should never use it, in my opinion, afternoon. Right, I use it, personally I use it, and I recommend it to my patients. My patients love it, um, and I use it actually longer than the box says. I use it for an hour and a half, and, oh, that's okay. and at that point, I'm like completely relaxed. Two, two and a half hours, there was a point that I was walking down the stairs in my house, and I actually looked at the wall, and I said, if I bumped into this wall, number one, would it hurt, and number two, would I care? <laughs> <laughs> well, interestingly, my partner, Sergey, uh, sorry, my fit medical partner at the clinic, uses it almost every day. Yeah. He loves it. Yeah. No, I, I, I love that device. So that is a great protocol if you have anxiety.